has pioneered research using video feedback. This important work identifies universal behaviours across a broad range of the sciences. Graham MacDonald explains. This research impacts on virtually every single area in modern society, science, engineering, biology. I work in a dual physics laboratory, that's part of the School of Computing Science and Engineering. It was a school that was brought, to, brought together a few years ago to, to allow multi, create an environment for multidisciplinary science, to allow physics and co computing science and engineer, engineering and audio and acoustics to basically to work together and flourish as a, as a multidisciplinary unit. This project work basically puts that type of multidisciplinary considerations and work into a nutshell because it encompasses the use of computers, it encompasses uh, possible engineering applications, it uh, brings in physics. Physics gives you the uh, quantitative understanding, one analyzes phenomena mm. in, a, in a quantitative way and makes objective uh, examination of, of different, ca different aspects of the character of the phenomena. Mm. And that's been very technical. The nature of this project is multidisciplinary. It, it forges away at the, the interface between different types of science, be they physical science, chemist, chemical science, biological science, or even the, the science studying people and the science of the mind, uh, the science of information itself. The, one can work across different disciplines and between different disciplines because they share, uh, a, share a commonality that they, they tend to give universal behaviour uh, very complex uh, so-called non-linear systems uh, basically show universal universal characteristics because they share uh, a common mechanism that gives rise to these universal characteristics so if one looks at the sky one can see uh, an enormously complex system uh, but the clouds themselves can form uh, very simple stripe patterns and you see the same type of stripe patterns in, in fluids and chemical reactions and optical systems and also the same sort of stripe patterns in, in for example animal skins and fish skins and, and zebra skins. The, the origins of, of, of recognising their universality were from uh, Turing's 1952 paper, Alan Turing, of the Turing machine and the Enigma machine. He basically identified that there's a very wide class of, of processes. He was working in artificial intelligence and he was working in trying to understand systems that were far too complex to, to model by conventional means. And he, he recognised that uh, there's a very wide class of, of processes and systems whereby it's actually a kind of feedback loop that takes hold, takes a grip of the system and defines the outcome no matter what type of system it is or how complex it is, that actually very simple mechanisms tend to dominate the, and characterise the, the long-term outcomes, be they like simple stripe patterns, uh, simple spots, spiral waves, or in the, at the other extreme, uh, extreme, extremely detailed patterns, patterns with lots and lots of details at lots and lots of sizes, uh, which are as a rough definition of what one could call a uh, fractal which when you look closer and closer you see the same amount of extra detail in the pattern. Real fractals obviously though, it's some small scale, uh, something else kicks in, but over a significant range of scales, one sees more and more detail the closer and closer you look. So there's, there's groups of universal patterns and universal uh, behaviours and, and phenomena that actually are, transcend the detail of whether it be an economic system, a social system, a physical system or a biological system and these phenomena are studied within this project that we actually study the mechanism that gives rise to these universal patterns uh, by putting what is called feedback on a table and examining what affects that, that particular mechanism that gives rise to universal patterns. Okay. The, the commonality between quite diverse systems that gives rise to the universal patterns is a mechanism called feedback. F feedback is, is where you take the output from a system and feed it back into the input of a system. It creates a loop 
uh, which has the potential to amplify uh, the smallest of fluctuations and allow those small fluctuations to dominate and characterise the outcome. That's, that, in essence, is, is, is what's sometimes called the butterfly effect, in the sense that a very small fluctuation in one part of the world, no matter how small it is, can be amplified through a feedback loop and give rise to an arbitrary large change somewhere else in the world. It's an extreme sensitivity to small, small initial fluctuations. Uh, but what characterises what actually happens is, is this feedback loop. It's, uh, it's, if you can study the feedback loop itself, then basically you can understand universal mechanisms that give rise to, to universal behaviours in quite different systems.